Hello, this is Edgar Brown back with another video. By the way, I just had a birthday on Sunday. Happy birthday to me. Anyway, uh, I turned 36 on Sunday, but um, yeah, I'm back with a with a third installment to um, hype does matter. What I mean by that, um, hype mattering in the dating in the dating market. Now, just like I said in the first two installments, height does matter. And um, most women have clarified and made it clear that um, they base their um, interest, you know, it's based on several factors, height, looks, and status, meaning how much money he has. But height is definitely probably the most important thing because women want, I mean, let's, let's, let's keep it real. Women want tall offspring. They also want, um, you know, a man to be able to protect them in case shit goes down. Um, I don't always believe that because a man is tall, big and tall doesn't necessarily mean he can necessarily protect her. Um, but it's his presence that will give the illusion that he can do damage to a motherfucker if he, if someone tried to hurt his woman. But like I said in the first two videos, um, it is the, it's the, <laughs> it's the shorter guy, the little guy that you have to worry about because like I said, um, he has something to prove, you know, the fact that, um, he already has, you know, one factor that will probably be a plague in his life probably for the rest of his life would be his height, you know, his size and everything. So he has to work on even, you know, he has to work harder in order to improve his um, co combat skills and all this other stuff, you know, to be a more formidable combatant because of the fact that his height, um, you know, will play against him. And when you think about it, the best fighters in the world, whether it be UFC, whether it be boxing, uh, kickboxing, wherever, whatever combat sport there is, are usually guys who are either um, below average or average height. Okay. Um, for example, like I said in the first two video, uh, the second video, I said that you know Mike Tyson uh, is a great example. He is living proof that height and size doesn't always matter in a fight. And not to get off topic, but let's just say that back in his day when he was uh, a boxer, he was knocking motherfuckers out that were much taller than him, that were like 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", and I think 6'5", and up. And he was like literally one of the smallest heavyweights there. He was only 5'9", 5'10", 225 pounds. But if you look at him, this motherfucker was brolic. Like he looked like a bulldog. But anyway, um... As far as height and everything, as far as being able to protect a woman, um, height is not always a great indicator that, you know, a man could protect her. Now, let's not kid ourselves. Um, women can be, you know, and are shallow when it comes to height, because let's be honest, in America, you are not going to meet guys who are six foot uh, one, six foot two, six foot three, six foot four and up. OK, if anything you know, women are going to run into guys who are either slightly above average, average height or below average. You're definitely going to meet a lot of below average height because we don't have a lot of tall people in America. Um, and again, once I, once again, I said, you know, you're going to meet a lot of tall guys in Sweden and Switzerland and all them other European countries, but you're not going to meet a bunch of tall guys in America. Now, don't get me wrong. I truly believe that um, I truly believe that 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 you know women uh, can and are hella shallow when it comes to height, but so are men. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm shallow. I'm shallow when it comes to a woman's um, body, and I'm gonna tell you this though, and I know I'm gonna get some hate for this, but I don't find big fat women attractive. Honestly, don't get me wrong, I'll fuck them just for the fun of it. But I don't really find them attractive. That's not a big fat woman to me. It's not someone that I would walk the streets with and, and and probably say that's my girl. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it real. I like thick, shapely women or women who are very fit. Women who go to the gym like I do. I'm in the gym four to five times a week and I am very fit. Yeah, I'm overweight. I'm like 5'11", 225 pounds, but I work out. Okay. And the fact is... If, if anyone want to, wanna, 
you know, want to want to um want to call me shallow. I'm shallow when it comes to um to women's uh, when it comes to the body. At least I'm honest about it. But the thing is, women are shallow when it comes to height. You know, the very thing that women that men cannot control. And so many men have asked this question. Why is it that women can be shallow when it comes to a man's height, but a man can't be shallow towards a woman's weight? And I've heard women say, well, women can lose weight. Men cannot grow taller. Once you turn a certain age, like 18 or even 21, you know, you you stop growing. You're not growing anymore. That's it. So if you got a history of having short people in your family, the likelihood of you being tall is going to be slim to none because of you go, you know, genetics is everything. Genetics will determine what you're going to be. If your genetics determine that you're going to be average height, that's where it's going to be. If your genetics are going to determine if you're going to be below average height, that's the way it's going to be. If your genetics determine that you're going to be a tall, a very tall person, that's the way it's going to be. It's all about genetics and, and, and hereditary and all other stuff. But the thing is, though, um, just because a man is tall does not necessarily mean that he can protect her. And it does not necessarily make him a better looking man. You know, you and I don't look at men this way, but you got guys who are short could be, you know, very good looking. And yet they get looked over because of the fact that their height. Now, again, um, what was I going to say? Um, it, that's one of the things that women care about. That's the one of the things that um, a woman's going to ask is how tall you are and what do you do for a living and. Where do you see yourself in five years? And a lot of females base their interest on a mixture of, you know, um, traits that a man must have. But the main thing is height. And don't let anyone tell you different. So to all you short guys out there, once again, just keep your head up and just keep doing what you got to do to make yourself attractive to these women. Because if you're a short man, yes, the odds are against you. But that doesn't mean you can't um, succeed. Now, look at guys like Kevin Hart. Tom Cruise and Justin Bieber. I mean, they got bitches literally throwing their underwears at them. But also understand this. Yes, they're short men, but they got money and they're rich and powerful. So if you got money, if you got money, power and fame, then you're going to blow away the average tall guy who has height. So with that being said, yes, there is hope for shorter guys. But don't think for one second the odds won't be stacked against you. Look at our presidents. Our presidents are where we're either five foot ten, five foot eleven, six feet, six one, six two. Our current president, Donald Trump, is six foot three. So with that being said, people look at height as a is a sign of respect. So the taller you are, the more respect that you're gonna get. The more people are going to respect your authority. So with that being said, um being average height or slightly above average, there's a lot of good benefits. In fact, statistics state that taller men um, have, uh, you know, state that there's a high probability that a taller man is going to earn more money than a shorter person. Not to say that a short man can't earn more money, but the taller man is going to earn, going to end up earning more money than a short guy majority of the time. So what I'm saying is, that yes, the odds are stacked against you, but that doesn't necessarily mean you can't be successful. But like I said, guys, keep your head up and do what you got to do to make yourself uh, look more attractive and, and more interesting. Work on your personality and understand that, yes, it sucks being short and the world is literally going to look down on you, especially women in the dating scene. But don't give up. There's always um, hope. But... Um, I'm definitely going to make another installment to this because I know this is a very interesting topic. So this is Edgar Brown. Um, have a blessed day and I will definitely will be making videos. I am out.